Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. The DJI NEO finally releases. We have new FCC rules for drones, which is probably not what you're thinking about. Uh, we have a legal battle in Arkansas about uh, some drone flights. And then lastly, the DJI Mavic Enterprise series is getting 4G. Let's get to it. First up this week, DJI finally released the NEO this week. Uh, we've covered many of the NEO leaks over the uh, last couple of weeks, but here's the official information. Uh, the NEO is 135 grams with an 18 minute flight time, uh, including quick shots and can also be voice operated. Uh, it has a half inch sensor with a 12 megapixel image and then also 4K, uh, active track, a built in propeller cage and and 22 gigabit of internal storage. Now the NEO will be available for pre-order in the United States starting this week. So you can go on the website uh, for DJI and take a look at it. Uh, we should be getting our hands on one very soon to test it and we'll have some videos to follow. Next up, the FCC is adopting new spectrum rules for drones. Uh, the rule is allocating the 5030 to 5091 megahertz band for non-network access, uh, meaning that these are designed for direct communication without the need for additional network infrastructure. So these are perfect for using with drones. Uh, along with the new band, there's also the introduction of what's called DFMS, which is Dynamic Frequency Management System, which allows a user to get a temporary frequency to ensure that they have efficient management of that specific spectrum. Uh, to get access to the band right now, an operator must submit a request through the FAA. Okay, FCC and FAA. Now, if approved, then the operator uh, then must complete an online registration with the FCC, but they're gonna ask you for the approval from the FAA first before you can do that. Now, it's unclear at the moment where the request should be going to directly to the FAA, but we've reached out to the help desk and then uh, to try to figure this out, and then we'll uh, keep you updated probably next week. Next up, a legal dispute has arisen from a drone flight in Arkansas. Uh, the company is Elemental Environmental Solution that filed a lawsuit against another company called Clean Harbor for a drone flight that flew over their chemical storage facility without any permission. Now, the lawsuit is based on Arkansas law that considers that using a drone for surveillance or gathering information about critical infrastructure without written consent is illegal. Now, in addition to the information collected by Elemental uh, Environmental Solution, the pilot that flew for Clean Harbor admitted that they were, and I quote, instructed to perform aerial surveillance of the property. Now we'll keep you updated as this unfolds, but this, I thought this was really interesting uh, piece of information. Okay, last up, the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise series has gotten a cool new feature. Uh, the Mavic 3E is now 4G compatible. Uh, the 4G dongle appears to piggyback on the back of the Mavic and uses the data connection port uh, instead of the SDK port, which leaves the SDK port open for whatever you want to do with it. Uh, the system is called the 4G Enhanced Transmission. It uses both OcuSync and 4G to maintain the link. Uh, this is something that actually came out a while back, but it's finally it looks like available in the United States. DJI notes that during a 30 minute flight relying on 4G, the remote controller and the dongle will each use about one gig of data. So pretty cool system. Uh, we'll see if we can get our hands on one of those. And that's it. Uh, we are live from Vegas. Uh, next back next week, we'll be back in the studio. You have a great week and we'll see you on Monday for the live. Thank you.